Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I'm Dan Jessic Tiny Ball with a D and I know it has been a very long time since I uploaded a part two for my NHS pathology interview questions and advice. Um I don't know if that's the exact title but um you know what I mean. So yeah, I'm gonna do part two. So what I'm gonna do in this video is gonna give you like um some more examples of interview questions. Um pathology and obviously some advice as well that I haven't mentioned but I may repeat some because yeah anyways so yeah these are just going to be some tips and advice and again example questions for um, biomedical sciences within the NHS so pathology within the NHS also I would give um, an actual band five example questions however I don't know much about that so I can only help with probably band two to trainee band five because um, I'm not very experienced with the actual biomedical scientist interview interviews because I haven't really done one. The highest I've ever done was the trainee band five interview. So when I get more experience, obviously I'll let you guys know. And uh, yeah, so let's get started. So the first tip would be, um, I don't know if I mentioned this in my previous videos, but um, if I do apologies, um, but I'm just gonna say it again if I have mentioned it, but um, my advice would be to always say more instead of less. So what you should do is you should do your homework, so research everything about, let's say, let's say if you're applying to the NHS, research about the NHS, um, also the hospital that you're applying to, the department you're applying to, etc. Like, I know different hospitals, different departments like I specialize in certain things um so maybe do some research on that because there probably will be questions than that because they could ask like what do you know about this hospital or organization and then you could always read their trust values and um this will give you an idea on what kind of people they're looking for so you should incorporate the trust values or the hospitals how do I say slogan I don't know but you know the hospital's trust values and what they're looking for in a person you should incorporate those into your answers like let's say when they ask you a question let's say um, why do you want to work here blah 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 and you say I want to work here because um according to one of your trust values you like appreciate your patients and stuff you want to like treat them with the highest amount of patient care quality of care etc so like that but in more detail and probably much better because that was like a really basic answer but you, you get what i mean so um yeah so always research about where you're applying to because honestly they'll be like wow this person has done so much research like wow like they're gonna have such a good impression on you they'll be like oh my gosh this person actually wants to be here they actually want to apply for this job they actually want to get this job etc um another would be um what are your strengths what are your weaknesses like i have read like for example for a weakness you shouldn't say that you like your perfectionist you shouldn't say that i usually just say like one example because you usually can't think of anything so you usually say like either these two examples and obviously i don't know if i'm right this is what i would say i don't know about you guys but say oh my time management skills weren't as good back in the day and then it improved whilst I was at uni or when I did my part-time job because I had to juggle like we'd say university and my part-time job blah 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 um and my extracurriculum activity um also communication skills I would say that like oh I was sh quite shy but when um let's say I start my part-time job or start university when we had to do group projects etc I had to obviously talk to people give my opinions listen to what they had to say blah 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 stuff like that so um maybe do some more research on that but that's my that's my advice for you obviously i don't know if there's any good but um i guess it will do for now i haven't said anything to me but out of all the interviews i've done i've only got feedback like twice i believe yeah i've only got feedback twice which is really weird so I remember my second interview, which was for band two for blood sciences. The manager did say I was really good. Like he said, oh, you mentioned that you were nervous, but it didn't seem like you were. And I was like, okay, I guess I have good acting skills. <laughs> but yeah, he said the only um, thing I had to improve was when he asked me, uh, what was it? Like, tell me about yourself. Like I went all in like, 
I thought tell me about yourself was like my experiences like I said oh I went I did I went to university and graduated with a biomedical sciences degree at this university blah 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 um, I also did work experience at this place blah 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 um, and stuff and I learned this blah 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 but um, when he gave me feedback he was like oh when it cost you that like you just talked about your academic like side but he wanted to know my personal side so yeah maybe obviously for telling about yourself questions um talk about yes your um work experience academic settings like stuff related to that and also maybe incorporate some personal stuff like let's say oh i do i don't know, like basketball swimming whatever and other things so another question would B is that um, I did get asked where do you want to be in five years time so I got asked for this and it was a band three interview uh I didn't get it unfortunately <sighs> but they said I was really good but obviously they got someone with more experience than me so it kind of sucked and I said well I am gonna like hopefully I'll be a biomedical scientist um, at that time and obviously say you see yourself become a biomedical scientist if you're not registered yet you would see yourself become a biomedical scientist in their department in their hospital and say why you want that because maybe say oh because this is a great uh, hospital to do my training or something I don't really know that's where you find out to where you do your research where you do your homework like let, when they say um, can you tell me something about this hospital or something so yeah also they might ask like what is microbiology what is hematology like what's your understanding of it what is biochemistry cytology histology point of care etc um so yeah so do your research on that because like if that if you um if they ask you that and you're like oh i don't know or you just say the most basic thing ever they're going to be like Oh, this person's applying to some place they don't even know. Why do they want to be here? Why are they applying to this place? Like, that would probably be maybe the first question or one of the first questions because they want to know what you know about them or the department. So it's best to do your research on that as well. Um, obviously, bog standard questions. Why should we hire you? Why do you want to apply for this position? Etc. And maybe they'll give you like scenario questions such as like obviously um like how will you deal conflict with a colleague or patient? Um what would you do if you spilt I don't know some let's say a sample or something hazardous, flammable, etc. What would you do? So read like the um guidelines as well, like each hospital may vary, so read the guidelines on each hospital, what would they do if like this was a biological spill or something. Oh, like if someone like calls up um, about a sample, what would you do? Um, if someone calls up about results, if a patient calls up results, what would you do? So you guys should know about that as well. And don't forget to incorporate always, always. Like if you don't always need to do it for every single question, but it's just best to um, incorporate it every single question. That is the trust values. That is, you know, the hospitals. I don't know what's the word. Let's say slogan, it's definitely not slogan, but let's just say trust values, like the hospital, like their perception on what they want. Perception? Perspective on what they want. So um, your research on that. Don't forget to always add examples, guys. I forgot to mention this. Always add examples in your questions, like, um, so it gives them an idea that you're not just talking nonsense you're not just making these stuff up because if you add an example they'll be like wow it actually happened in real life they actually done it before so they can do it again that's basically what they're thinking that's well that's what i think they're thinking because what else would they think so uh yeah don't forget to do that a leader or a follower so basically can you work in a team can you be independent or do you have to depend on someone yes that's yeah i got asked that and i was like oh my gosh what the heck would i say so i just made some stuff up so obviously like you're not going to expect every single question i um, in your interview so you're not always going to be prepared so you should always like prepare yourselves like making up random questions random scenarios in your head in order to give like the right answer and hopefully it will turn out well because um, I think there, are, unless you have like loads and loads and loads of experience in interviews, like um, there, there will always be one or two questions that will catch you out. It's fine if you don't get, like it's okay if you don't get the job, 
but what you should do is ask for feedback from them because that feedback in turn will help you improve and make you become like help you become better on your next interview your next interviews and it will surely 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 help you get your next job yeah i remember like again when i first started i only got like feedback once and it was that feedback i told you about um, about the um tell me about yourself question that was the only feedback he gave me actually so i'm uh, pretty sure that was it okay, it was kind of good because you know some interviewers don't call you or don't contact you saying you didn't get it or you did didn't get it so i'm actually pretty happy he called me and gave me advice and feedback so yeah because from my first interview uh they were like um i didn't get it and if i want feedback in a ring and i did but then they weren't available and i was like I left a message for them to call me back, but they never did, so I never got feedback. Like, not gonna lie, that was my first interview. It was so, so bad. It was rubbish because I didn't know what questions to expect. I didn't have anyone to help me. That's why I'm here for you guys, like, to help you guys because, honestly, I didn't have anyone to help me because, um, yes, my family may work in the NHS. However, like, none of my family are within the biological sciences field. Like, none of them are biomedical scientists, so they don't know I didn't have any help. Well, okay, maybe I did for the, like, basic standard-ass questions that they ask in every interview. Like, obviously, like, tell me about yourself, your weaknesses, strengths, etc. Why, sh why sh we should hire you, etc. But, like, the ones specifically designed for pathology did not get any help. So uh, I am here to help you guys and um, I, like I have mentioned this before but you guys can DM me on Instagram, it's Daniel Lawyer, I'll put a link below in the description um, and like a little um, card thingy here as well to show my username because I have received quite a few DMs actually from people asking about um, that they got an int like saying that they got an interview and they want some advice and tips and stuff and I do give them, I do try my best to help them and obviously most of them unbelievable, it's so amazing like this, I do tell them to let me know whether they got it or not, like what is the outcome etc and they're like oh yeah I got it, thank you so much for your advice, I'm like oh my god this <laughs> That's like such a good thing to hear because that's why that's why I like started like this biomedical sciences series because again there is no one to help or like there's hardly any many people so guys I've got you back so um yeah hit me up or if you have more, any more questions comment down below comment down below give this video a thumbs up um I'm sorry it's been quite a long time I will try and make more videos um sooner but um that is if you guys want that. But tell me what kind of videos you want to see. So yeah, guys, that's it for today's video. It is quite kind of long. I've been blabbering on f for quite a while. But um, let me know if this video helps you. And if you want more videos like this, I'm going to try my best and actually be active in my biomedical sciences series. So um, yeah, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below. Any more questions, any more things you want to see um and yeah don't forget to subscribe to my channel down there and yeah thanks guys for watching bye